Okay, guys. It's going to be a Saturday in Manchester. We've not done a Manchester video for a long time, so I hope you enjoy. And uh, the forecast is for heavy rain later. But look at it now. Just, just look at it. And as the buildings say, one, two, three, four, five. We're now approaching Pomona, Pomona, where you can change for services to Regis City UK and Eccles. That's good to know. Morning, guys. I've not been on the train. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Look at that. You just... You guys got to be a bit better at stopping the people who are clearly traveling without a ticket. You got to stop them, man, if you're going to... No, but if it's as easy as just walking away, then why have I bothered with a ticket? Fair enough, fair enough. Today's theory is brought to you by alien UFO info blocked by church because they could be demons. Da, da, da. Where's the bloody incident? Truly love someone unless we encounter the unconditional love of God. Oh shit. And it's through that injured pigeon. Oh well. To love our spouse unconditionally. Oh god. Because you cannot I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for a woman to put an injured pigeon in a bag. I um I need to go to church for 5 minutes now. Okay, viewers, we exit the bus here in uh, Rusholm, I think. Also affectionately known as the Curry Mile. Now, why are we here? An hour ago in Platfields Park, there has been by Manchester Palestine Action, I think they've organized a massive pro-Palestine demonstration, which, as your humble narrator I am, I find extremely strange considering I don't think the Israeli have yet buried all the 1,500 murder victims that these people here are tacitly supporting. I say the word tacitly supporting. Please don't sue me, bro. Well, it begins. It begins. So let's see how the British police deal with, uh, how do we put it, terrorist sympathizers? ISIS sympathizers? Can you imagine if, uh, can you imagine if uh, people that believed in Irish reunification came out and celebrated the OMA bombing? Can you imagine how the public would react or how the press would react or how the police would react if you were glorifying the savage murder of 30 innocent people? Here we have 1,500 innocent people. Right, I'm going to do a bit of a... I'm going to try and hold my camera steady, is what I'm trying to say. Let's see what we got. Let's go see what the police evidence gatherers are up to. Let's go and have a look. Hey man, you okay? All good? Hey guys, you okay? All good. From the river to the sea. From the river to the sea. That's what they're saying, but from the river Jordan to the hello. From the river Jordan to the Mediterranean Sea is the entirety of Israel. They are calling for the deletion of Israel. Wait a minute, that's, that's Israel. That is a scary symbol. The protesters here talk about Israel cleansing Gaza, but that's unequivocal. That is unequivocal. Quite a big crowd, I'd say a thousand, two thousand, looking down there. 
Let's analyze this. This is either evidence of a fifth column going to destabilize the country and proceed towards some horrific civil war, or it's a masterclass in British policing where they allow the pressure to be released. Everyone comes out, shouts, gets angry, has a cathartic release, and then they go home. Maybe, just maybe, preventing them from glorifying what they're glorifying might even be worse from a civil order viewpoint. But I'll give you the Veach view. I'll give you the Veach view. I think the police should be very, um, very strict in terms of what slogans and uh, what flags and what groups are glorified. Traffic chaos. I just had a chat with a couple of friendly police. I asked them, is there any intelligence of any potential flare-ups or violence or extremist factions within the crowd? He goes, no, but just be careful. I said, yeah, of course. But then again, there was no intelligence that Hamas was gonna do what they were gonna do. It was a vicious surprise. Here we go, what's this, ARY News. Look at this, here we go, there's a professional. He's doing the great reveal. Apologies for the wind noise, as always. I'm just going to freestyle the video now. Let it play for a few minutes. Let it play for a few minutes. Let's see how my camera boys are doing. Camera boys are doing well. Legal observer observing the legals. Covering his face, of course. That's a big part of it. People have an issue with the dressing like a medieval executioner. And again, no, n not a single mention of the men, women and children murdered by Hamas. It's almost like they don't matter here. Here we go, it says there, this is a genocide, 1900 plus killed, white phosphorus, bombs, no food, washer or aid. What about the 1500 murdered Israeli children? Men, women and children, sorry. Where's their mention? Hello, bro. Are you okay? I'm good. How are you, bro? Not bad. Oh, it's double. Hey, good to see you. You're right. An old blast from the past there. Many of you may remember Daoud. Daoud Addison from the uh, Kadem protests. I bumped into him. Whoa, he just tried to shoulder barge me. Very peaceful. I bumped into him about six months ago. We shook hands, made friends. And he's just been friendly to me just now. So maybe there is hope. Maybe our alleged enemies are just confused. Who knows? And here's a very important point to make. I think my enemies are wrong. My enemies think I'm an assassin. And you can't negotiate with people who literally think you're a killer. And vice versa. Look at the color of the Audi. Oh my God. Good police turnout, thank God. Wait, what's this Stockport Union Council doing here? What's this got to do with socialism? Oh, unite the union. What's this got to do with um, service industry work unions? I don't know. Why does the left and uh, the Palestine people see hand in hand when uh, Hamas are pretty right wing, very right wing? Here's the Manchester Communists. Look at this. Hello, hello, all good? Here's a communist. Whee! Oh, it's Chubber! Hey, Chubber, how are you? There's angry Chubber from the uh, communist uh, red, uh, red face mask, black outfit. Chubber's still angry. He just said, Charlie, F off. <laughs> Wind noise is my big problem here. I need better audio. 
but we'll make it work, guys. Enjoy the visuals. Oh, wait. A couple of people recognizing me, a few murmurs. They would love to shut me down, but I am Giga Chad today. I am Giga Chad. It is worth noting, this is a predominantly Muslim area, Rusholm, uh, Bangladeshis, Pakistanis, Lebanese, Syrians, and so it's uh, again a masterclass in propaganda having the march directly through this area, which is predominantly Islamic. They've obviously thought about this, it's not random. Here's some recognized communists as well. Let's see what their big banners say. Oh, sorry. Sorry, man. Cheers. Look at me blocking traffic. That's a, that's a charge, that obstruction of a public highway. Although I don't think the charge would uh, get convicted in court because it's all about intention, people. All about intention. And here's the thing. How many of these people are fully aware of what Hamas is or what they've actually done? I bet you 80% of these people believe that 1,500 Israelis died in a war, that it was like a, a big border skirmish. They're probably not aware that it was an unadulterated murder, a massacre, an assassination of men, women, and children. Or maybe they do know and they don't care. Here's it goes again with a from the river to the sea. That's the entirety of the state of Israel. All right, here we go. I will not be silenced no matter how many laws they try to criminalize Israel. Thank you. Right, where's the Scottish flag? There it is. Hey, Leo, are you okay? Honk, honk. Honk, honk, honk. Well, not surprised to see the Scottish flag. Scottish people, unfortunately, there's a big, uh, a big, uh, how do I put this? Scotland still haven't gotten over being conquered by England. The Act of Union in 1707 was a cope. But here's the thing, how far back do you go? Am I going to start the Scotland Liberation Army and take back lands given by the English Crown? You know, the same way I wouldn't come out here to celebrate the Oma bombings, because it's a ridiculous murder, it's a disgusting murder. Yet here we all are, here we are. Okay, they're all holding up. There's a few stragglers. It goes on for about, I'd say, a kilometer. I don't know how many, 2,000, I'd say, my guess. Um, but we're stopped here. We're stopped here outside Lidl. And let's see what the front's looking like. All quiet on the southern front. All quiet. A bit balaclava y, a bit face covering y. But they're shy. They're shy. They don't really believe in their message. Otherwise, they'd show their faces. I guess it's most exciting at the very front. I don't speak Arabic, but I do understand what the Alaska Martyrs Brigade is, so I think they're glorifying them. Palestine! Look at this Palestine. guy. Palestine! Oh, come on, man. Palestine! Get, up. Get away from me. Oh! You're old enough to know better. Stop hitting me! Oh my god! Get out my way! Well, get away from me with that! Alright, they've clocked me. It's gonna get interesting now. Friendly, 
friendly Palestine supporter says, just don't worry about that guy, just do your thing and ignore him. I was like, thank you. What a nice guy, thank you. Sorry? Dawood with the conspiracies. Police informant, fucking hell. Oh, well, I take everything back that I said nice about him. He's still a nutter. Salam Alaikum, how are you guys? How are you guys? All good? Yeah, all good, all good. Oh, no, 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 no. Man of peace. Man of peace, all the best. Bit of uh, traffic issues, they want to only block one lane. They want to keep left lane going that way free. They want to keep it free like, uh, um, what's free? Um, my mind, I guess. Um, speech. <laughs> oh, she's giving me the finger, oh God. I'm going home now. She gave me the finger. My life is ruined, I'm deleting the YouTube channel. I'm going home. Cute. Here's with the Israel sign again. The map of Israel. There's a view uphill towards uh, Manchester City Centre. Okay, there's the front of the march, there's your police Volvo. And here is the Stopford building with loads of security outside, not taking any chances. And here they come. It's a bit of a slow march to St. Peter's Square outside the Manchester Central Library. Now, I feel very safe, but it's the kind of um, mobile bicycle front in balaclavas. There's a few of them circling around. I've had a few dirty looks. And so you gotta, you gotta always uh, watch your back with uh, very passionate, ira irrational, somewhat religious people. You always gotta watch your back. You can turn your back on a human being, but you can't turn your back on an irrational ideology. That's for sure. Oh, there's some flare, football flares. Let's see the football flares. There's your football flare. Black and red and green. Of course. We still know it's you. He just said, shut up, police informant. Oh, well. Where's the smoke? There's the smoke. There's a the cinema shot we all want. We're, st we're stopped now outside the University Students' Union, Manchester University Students' Union. And here's the Territorial Support Group, or the Tactical Assault Unit, depending what part of the UK you are currently in. These are the riot cops. These aren't so much there to take a statement from a granny, they're there to truncheon an unruly protester. And fair play to them. If they are unruly and they need a truncheoning, I'm glad my taxpayer money goes towards fine British police activities such as truncheoning terrorism supporters. Salam Alaikum, madam, how are you? Good to see you. How's your protest? Is it good? Oh, she's gone shy now. Oh no, she's not shy anymore. Hello, hello, hello. Uh oh, it's a camera standoff. I'm a gentleman, I'll, I'll let her win this one. You win, you win, you win. Uh oh, cr Crutchy, Crutchy 2.0's here. Oh, 
got some more flares. Here we go, smoke flares. It smells like fireworks here. It smells like fireworks. Oh yeah. Whoa, it's a farty smell, isn't it? It's a farty smell. God damn, it's raining now, guys, but luckily I've got an umbrella in my pocket. I'm not just happy to see all these protesters, I have an umbrella in my pocket. Wait, what's going on? Wait, something's happening. Before we get the umbi out. Oh, wait, 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 what's going on? What's the police telling him? What's, what's going on? We need total coverage. British government is complicit in Gaza genocide. I'm um, not sure about that one, but free speech and all that. Free speech. Anyway, here's a nice sign. An ambulance comes through, everyone moves. Look at this. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Look at that. This is a nice sign. The humanity, go on. Oh, hey. Hold, 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 hold. They're going to hold. Holding time. Holding time, holding time. Oh, God, oh, God. Please. No, please. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, you, you haven't uh, said anything to um, cause any issues. Oh, nothing no. at all. Nothing at all. Take it, no problem. <laughs> okay. Big pink bus. Gotta get through. He's gotta get through this. He's gonna get through this. Oh no, not Umbrella Man again. Uh oh. Umbrella Man's coming for me. He does not want my message out there. He hates journalists. Journo hater. Journo hater. How are you? You good? Journo hater does not talk. Listen. Mate, I don't want you so close to me, okay? Don't get so close to me. I don't want you close to me. Right, I'm not getting involved in this. You're both adults. You need to behave as such, okay? So, yeah. So you don't antagonize him. You don't antagonize him. Just trying to do my video. You don't antagonize him. This person is a person. Please, please, sir, please. Please, get the umbrella out of my face. Please, take the umbrella out of my face, please. What the hell? Do they not like the Charlie Veach channel? Do they not want me to gather my photons, which are free, from the sun god, from Helios? Am I not worthy? I think I broke his umbrella. I think I hurt his umbrella, but it looks like a cheap one. He's given up with me, which is good. Room for me. I won't go near him. No problem. No problem. Which is fair enough. That is fair enough. Fair enough. I think there's going to be a lot of uh, unhappy people that forgot their umbrellas. It was blazing blue skies this morning. But the Veach never trusts the blazing blue sky. The Veach always carries protection in his pocket. Protection against the weather. Oh, they were doing some good Allahu Akbar's, but I missed it. Come on, crowd, can I get an Allahu Akbar? Let's get ready to Allahu Akbar! I've missed it. They might chant it again, hopefully. Oh, calm down. Calm down. So angry. It's a bit messy behind me, guys. I'll be honest, it's a bit messy. You want to have a look? There you go. They're saying the British government's complicit in the genocide in Gaza. 
least successful genocide in history. You should see the Gaza population from 1948 to 2023. It's kind of grown a lot. Worst genocide ever if it's uh, called a genocide, which it isn't. So there you go. Just an observation. So, oh wait, hold on. How's my f-stop? Just an observation. Like most of the Arab guys, Palestinian guys, Muslim guys, very neutral with me. But it's when the uh, ideologue, communist, socialist recognize me, then the whole uh, on the street cancel culture comes out. So. Uh, Come on, Dawood, I'll give you an interview. I'm not a police informer. You know I'm not a police informer. I'm walking up front to get... I'll answer any questions you want. Uh, Salam alaikum, Dawood. I'll give you an interview. What do you want? Oh, come on, Dawood. Oh, well. He just wanted the soundbite of calling me a police informer. Not received a single shekel. Not a pound, not a dollar. Not even a kick in the balls from the police, Dawood. Oh, well. Police informant Charlie V's, that's hilarious. Oh, well. Here we go, guys. I think I caught an Allahu Akbar there. I got one of them. Did you hear it? Hello, sir. How are you? Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Anyway, apologies if I've not held the camera as steady of, as many of you would like. If there's a lot of ghosting and, uh, you know, artifacts and shit. But uh, I made the decision to go back to 25 FPS PAL rather than 30 NTSC. I don't know why. I want to be a cinema man. Or something. It says there in seven days Israel has killed 700 plus Gazan. What about the 1500 Israelis in two hours by Hamas? Maybe I'm at the wrong protest for that. Oh God, it's Umbrella Man again. It's Umbrella Man. Wait, look at these guys. Look at them, look at them. Look at them, look at them. They get so angry. Why are they angry? He's talking about my children again. They're very, very strange. They think that by mentioning... Oh my god -o. How's mommy and daddy in the home counties? Are you acting like an anarchist? Oh, Umbrella Man. Umbrella Man, seriously, I'll break your umbrella. I'll break your umbrella. He's trying to stop me filming. For me, for my channel. Charlie Beach. I'm a YouTuber, man. I just don't believe in communism, that's all. This is not about communism. They are. This isn't. They are. Oh, he's called me the F word. He has called me a fascist. I will go home now and cry. <laughs> Whee! Angry communists! Whee! Angry commies! Whee! Oh my god, that's a deep voice. Are you male? Salam alaikum, how are you, brother? Salam, salam, sister, how are you? Subscribe, subscribe to the Charlie Beach. Salam, sister, salam. How are you all? Uh oh, they've, 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 they've. Uh oh, the old guy's filming me now. Hey guys, you're right. Oh, why am I holding my umbrella up? It's sunny. I got distracted there. Hello. Nice iPhone 13, love it, mate, love it. I'm happy to give you an interview if you come over here for the audio. Children get back into Oh 
Oh, there you go, guys. I'm going to put my umbrella away. I'm going to stop filming for one minute. Hopefully nothing will happen as I put my umbrella away. Oh, my. Well, nothing happened as I put my umbrella away. Here comes a beamer. Here comes the beamer. Look at that, look at the cinematics here. Lovely, lovely. A little bit of crowd control going on. A lot of balaclavas, a lot of emotions running high. Again, no mention of the dead Israeli kids. No mention. All right, directly into the sun. It's mostly shadows, high contrast. I still think it looks good. I still think it looks cinematic enough. Nice shadows. The whites are white and the blacks are black, just like Daz Ultra. New, improved recipe. Formula, I mean, formula. Okay, viewers, we're gonna go under the M57 flyover through central Manchester. We'll get some good acoustics, like a church hall, some reverb. We'll get it, we'll, we'll, we'll position ourselves there. Here we go, we're almost in location. Here we go. Here we go. The acoustics are gonna be good. They're gonna be very good. It's gonna be loud. Oh, there's some more. Some more God is greats. There you go. Very uh, direct policing here, very direct. Look how angry he is, he's angry. Come back so I don't get run over. going to have to move into the crowd to get around the, the bus. So uh, how sensitively are you going to do this? Here we go. I promise you it's not a Volvo with peace. Oh wait, bicycle lady, she's filming me. Bicycle lady has clocked me. Oh, she did the wanker sign. What? Angry. Here we go again. All right, a bit shadowy, but I want this shot to to be the sexiest shot in my whole video. Maybe it will be, maybe it won't. Maybe it will be Umbrella Man trying to stop me filming. Maybe it will be an angry woman with a Palestinian scarf giving me the finger. Who knows? I'll repeat myself, but it's important. Imagine, hi guys, you're right. Imagine, imagine if you will, a group of IRA supporters coming out with a massive rally just after the OMA bombings. Okay, train going over the bridge. This is another contender for sexiest shot. <laughs> when I'm driving around filming uh, potentially very dangerous individuals, I like to be stuck inside and well, well locked inside the people's car, the Volkswagen from Deutschland, Uber Alice. Oh, did I miss the shot? I, I missed the shot of a uh, hi, 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 Swedish car. Hello, hello, Swedish car. Just overheard one of the inspectors say to control room all the city center resources to St. Peter's Square. All the city center resources. What are they expecting? I don't know, but I bet the photons will be good. All right, in the words of SimCity 2000, this is Citycopter 1 reporting heavy traffic 
at the Portland Street, Oxford Street intersection. Whoa, whoa, what's he doing? <laughs> ah, he's all right. He's, he's, uh, he's not going to go and uh, do the... Uh... Yeah, I don't even want to say it. I'm going to struggle to get this monetized by YouTube. Come on, my bosses in Palo Alto, California. Give me some shekels. Let me earn some money on this video, please. Okay, directly ahead we have the city library. I'm gonna go and park over there so that we can get the full shots of the protest arriving. We'll see if there's anyone there to greet them, as in other police, uh, security, uh, a candlelit lit vigil for the victims of Hamas. Who knows? Who knows who'll be there? We're gonna have a look. Here we are in the St. Peter's Square. St. Peter who says it feels like heaven. Or is he at the gates of heaven? Some, something like that. Old St. Pete. He's a good lad, Pete. So we've got to be very careful with the trams. Trams are still running. I don't want to see anyone running over, getting run over by the trams. It's going to be a lot of honking. A good bit of honk. Like a goose. We'll save lives. Again, apologies if the camera's not as steady as uh, you would all like. I uh, like to think I have brain surgeon steady hands, but uh, the big cameras are not made for roaming shots like this. Oh, there was a, um, there's another protest happening. It's all inter it's all coming together here, look. All right, mate, can I get your banner? All right, I won't read it out so that the YouTube guys don't get oh, yeah, angry at me, yeah. but the viewers can read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Free speech and all that. Free we'll speech. see Billy. Can I have your picture? Of course you can. Yeah, yeah. People come across this way. There's two different protests here. And I think there was a... I don't know. It's all going on. Now the question is, have they got enough police? I hope so. I hope so. Do you want to walk into a Volvo? Don't want to reverse into a Volvo. Now I'm thinking if I placed my camera on top of the car and walked along, now nah, I'd get in trouble. He'd hit the boot button and fling my camera off. Okay, we're behind the pillars. Sometimes you get the best shots if they put the speakers here. There we go. And of course, I've got my fluorescent bodyguards here. Here we go, fluorescent bodyguards. What a kerfuffle. Yeah, y'all good. Here we go, smoke flares, smoke flares. That's what we came for. We got close-ups of smoke flares. I got a phosphorus particle in my eyeball. Ah! God damn it. Things I do. The things I do for the shots. Okay. Here's the riot cops, riot police. Now I can see the logistics of moving the trams is going to be complicated with all these people. Hello, sir. How are you? Zainis, come over here. Wow, thank you for the photons. Is that the best you got? To swear at me and do an anti-Semitic remark? Is that the best you got? You're not big enough, mate, sorry. You're not big enough. You're not big enough, little guy. Little guy! Ugh, my screen is dirty because my lens is dirty. 
because their minds are dirty. I always find it quite funny when people who try and attack a man whose life is literally filming in public by filming him in public. Is it meant to intimidate me? I am terrified. Very terrified. Eco-socialist, feminist, anti... Victory to the Intifada! Sorry? Victory to the Intifada! Victory, sorry, I didn't... Victory to the Intifada! Oh, Intifada! Oh, I see. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> From Palestine, we'll be free! From the river to the sea! Palestine, we'll be free! From the river to the sea! Palestine, we'll be free! From the river to the sea! Palestine, we'll be free! If people don't know, this man is a Zionist. He's Whoa. on this protest to intimidate people. Oh, I thought we were friends. Are we not friends? Are we not friends? We never were. We never will be. Oh! Outside a murderer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's insulted me. I'm, I'm going to go home now again. I've gone home five times today. You're not going to be friends with Charlie? You're going to call him a Zionist sympathizer? I don't even know if that's really an insult. I, I probably do believe that Jews deserve their own homeland. I, I think that's quite non-controversial. I think the Kurds should have their homeland. I think everyone should have their homeland. This call me a terrorist for saying they should have their homeland. Thanks, ladies. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Nice rational opinions. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, here, Barbie bag, Barbie bag. I'm not a Zionist. Shalom, brother, don't call me a Zionist. Why not? Do you believe Israel has a right to exist? I do believe Israel has a right to exist. You're a racist. Wow, did you hear that guy straight from the man's mouth? Sorry, woman's mouth. Woman's mouth. Uh, wait, man's mouth. Wait, he asked me, sorry, he or she, the man woo, asked me, do you believe it? Oh, mate, take your mustache and calm down. Come on. Oh, wee, wee, angry, wee. Angry, wee. You're the one coming up to me telling me to fuck off. Wee, angry, wee. How did communism work out for you? All good? You're the one that's swearing, telling people to leave. Are you, you're not. You're the one misgendering people. Do you not support my diversity? Diversity of opinion? No? Not allowed? No. Oh, here we go. Nice. Come on, give me a drum roll. Give me a drum roll. Come on. Oh, okay. Where's my drum roll? Oh, no, out of respect for you and your children. No, you've brought your kids, so I don't think we should interact. He's still angry, though. He brought his kids, he's still mad. He should be looking after his kids. Of course. Of course, people get killed. What about the Israeli kids? Yeah, why not? Of course. I don't see you flying an Israeli flag. Right now. The Palestinian kids are getting killed right now. This is Uh oh, here comes the commissar, Soviet commissar. Don't speak to him. Soviet commissar controlling the conversation. Oh, come on. Free speech, madam. Free speech. Oh, it is. It's a free country, madam. But that's a, where our British right is normal people. I know Soviet types like to control the conversation, but I'm about free speech, madam. Anyway, I've got no, no beef with you. I, I also don't want any children to die, so that's fine. But obviously, I don't think uh, photojournalists or uh, lowly YouTubers should be prevented from collecting their shots in public. I don't think they should. And uh, shame on that lady for trying to get me thrown in a cage for expressing myself. I could say the same for them, but I don't, because I believe in their right to express themselves. As long as they don't, as long as they don't fly any Hamas flags, I'm, I'm okay with it. I think, I think I'm okay with it. It's maybe a bit insensitive, while the Israelis are still burying their dead. Maybe a little bit insensitive. Or did I get that wrong? Do they bury their dead quickly? I don't know. But it's, uh, I don't think we should be doing big rallies like this in support of a well, look, Palestine's a country, but Hamas is a terrorist group. And I think a lot of people here have a lot of sympathy for Hamas. And that is very sad when there's a lot of dead people. And uh, it was unprovoked. People were just hanging out. Next thing you know, they're being hurt. You're not a tram. 